Hello and welcome. Today I want you to imagine that you're a gecko. A tiny gecko with no sense of sight, hearing, touch, smell or even taste. You do however possess a sixth sense, namely being able to know how to describe the ground beneath you with a mathematical function. The Eiffel Tower has one single peak and from every point lower than that there are no other ways to go up but this one peak. In mathematics this is what we would call concave. Therefore we can deduce that if we always go somewhere towards the highest point, we will eventually reach the top. Since we are a gecko, we know how to describe the Eiffel Tower with a function and two variables, so a three dimensional one. We also know that we can calculate the derivative of this function. For multivariable functions, this is called the gradient and is calculated using all partial derivatives and putting them together in a vector. So in this case the derivative by x and the derivative by y. Plugging our current position into one of these two partial derivatives will yield us the slope in the direction of that coordinate. With a positive slope value meaning that we are going up a negative value meaning that we are going down and if we get zero that means we are going along the same height level. If we now want to reach the top we could always just go into the x or y direction depending on which one is larger but what if we somehow were to reach a position like this where both of them are exactly the same. In this case we would have to go somewhere in the middle of the two partial derivatives. Stating this in a different way we would basically have to go halfway into the x direction and halfway into the y direction. Let's actually combine this information and put it into a vector pointing exactly into the direction which we want to go. Now an easy way to calculate the slope into this direction would be to multiply our directional vector with the gradient. So taking half of the partial derivative by x and half of the partial derivative by y. Great, now we are unstuck and if we strategize further, we could even think about our approach to climbing the tower in general. Since we can define this vector to go in any direction, we can now use the more efficient way of walking straight towards the largest gradient we can find around our current position and always walking exactly in that direction. This is the optimal strategy to find the shortest possible path to the peak. And all this, by the way, is the concept of directional derivatives. This of course is not applicable for some other fancy buildings like most churches, since they have many smaller peaks which we would just get stuck at. Let's take a look at the function minus x squared minus y squared. That function looks something like this. Now we are at the point, let's say 2, 0, and we want to know which way we have to go to reach that peak as quickly as possible. So in other words, we want to maximize the directional derivative. Let's calculate our generalized directional derivative by some vector v by using scalar multiplication of v with our gradient. And now we can calculate the value of this expression at 2, 0, and since we want to find the maximum vector with length 1, this is just minus 1, 0. Alright, and that's it. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, I would very much appreciate if you could support the channel by subscribing. I want to make more videos like these in the future, so please leave any suggestions for topics in the comments. See you!